Our next example comes out of section 3.3, and we're asked to factor this polynomial 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x minus 3, and the instructions are simple, just factor fully. Uh, if we know our theorems, our integral zero theorem uh, tells us that if x minus a is a factor, that the numbers a that I need to try are going to be factors of this constant term 3. So really the only numbers I need to try are uh, plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 3, and I should run into a factor of this polynomial. So what do I mean by try it? If I let x equal equal 1 and put it into this polynomial, what do I get? Right away on the first try, I let x equal 1, I put it into the polynomial, and I, I end up with 0. Uh, by remainder theorem, that tells me that the remainder is zero. By factor theorem, that tells me that it is a factor. Um, so x minus one is a factor. So knowing that now, I can take my polynomial, 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x minus 3, and divide it by x minus 1, and try to find the other factors. I'll do that by synthetic division, because I think it's the fastest now that we know all of our methods. So I set up the synthetic division here, I bring down my 2, multiply, I get negative 2, subtract, I get 7, multiply, I get negative 7, subtract, I get 3, multiply, I get negative 3, and subtract, I get 0, which confirms what I had figured out up above. Now what does that mean? It means that what I have left over here is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So that multiplied by x minus 1 equals my big polynomial. So I'm almost there. I just need to finish factoring this quadratic. Um, probably the most problematic thing people have in Math 10 is trying to factor things like this. I look for two numbers that are going to multiply together to give me 6 and the two same numbers I need to add together to give me 7. So my magic numbers, as I call them, are 6 and 1. And so I decompose this middle term into 6x and 1x. Notice 6 plus 1 still does equal 7. What that allows me to do, though, is factor these two at a time. And I find that I've got x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. And I still have, from before, this x minus 1 term that I can bring all the way down. So fully factored, this expression, x minus 1 times x plus 3 times 2x plus 1 is what we're looking for, and it's exactly equal to the polynomial that we started off with.